Hello YouTube, I hope everybody's doing good tonight. Um, it isn't often that I think about anything that I want to repeat or say, but this is certainly something I want to repeat. I'm scrolling through the news tonight. I stopped by GLP, as many of us do, and, and the heading that I'm going to read to you is Another Slap in the Face for U.S. Veterans. Obama's father served in World War II. Really? Here's 18 second video of a CNN news clip. Please listen to this video and we'll read on this post. Here it goes. Uh, then, you know, we're betraying uh, what I think is a solemn pact that we make with our veterans. Uh, you know, they, my father served in World War II. Hey, my father served in World War II. My father served in World War II. Uh, and when he came home, he got the services that he needed. Uh. Okay. <clears throat> Does this man lie, or is he just too dumb to think the American people cannot do the math? Or is he confident the press will either ignore his statements or cover for him? Like it or not, here's the facts as we know them. Barack Hussein Obama Sr., Obama's father, was born 4-4 of 36, died 11-24 of 82 at the age of 46. He was five years old when World War II started. He was less than 10 years old when World War II ended. He must have been the youngest veteran ever in war. And then the media uh, uh, doesn't say anything. Now, you got... Uh, <clears throat> Satoro, Lolo Satoro, Obama's stepfather, was born January 2nd of 1935 and died 3-2 of 87 at the age of 52. That would have made him six years old when World War II started and ten years old when it ended. Um, all of the things I've seen or heard about Obama on the internet None of them has hit me like this. How can, we not how can we not believe some of the charges about citizenship and religion and all that stuff, you know, after what we hear him say? And this is just another one of what we've heard him say. Um, you know, we've heard him misname his daughters. We've heard him call himself a Muslim. And little George Stapanopoulos corrected him and said, your Christian faith, sir. And he's like, oh yeah, my Christian faith. And coincidentally, seeing as though we're tanking financially, we also remember a report with him being interviewed by, I believe it was Matt Lauer. Don't quote me on that. To where he said if the numbers were down, he wouldn't be running a second term. I've been watching a few of these yo-yos uh, back to back for some years now. And the blatant, outright, overt lies by this man and this administration um, surpass any that I recall before me. And I just finished up reading another link on uh, GLP with... Um, I forget it, but uh, pertaining to somebody interviewing the White House insider, and and how he implies that the the everybody's too scared to make a move against this guy because they're crazy, criminal, insane. They'll kill you, and if it comes down to that, you know, we're all going to die sometime. Do you want to spend your whole life never having said a word out of fear for this character? I don't give a shit about his drones and his laws to come gunning on Americans and, and all the rest of it. Wrong is wrong, and what I see with this character, every about, bit about it is wrong. So I, I thought it, it bared repeating this news clip uh, saying his father served in World War II. Um, if you like this video, pass this around, please. Take care and stay smart.